on. Oh, I don't want Band-Aid being in the way. Today we are doing a tragic unboxing. Tragic, why? Because now I have fallen in, in love with another group. And this is this is bad for my bank account, y'all. I did not intend to fall to fall in love with this group, but it happened, and now we're here. And I'm obsessed. And there's no going back because now I'm just invested for the next two years, three months or whatever is left of their contract. But I have, unfortunately for my bank account, but great for me for the time being, have fallen in love with freaking zero baseball. Why does this happen to me? I, I told myself I would never get invested in a temporary group. And now I'm here and now I'm invested. And now I'm gonna cry when they disband. Things have been done. I don't even know how this happened. I swear to God, like I never intended to get into this group just because temporary groups are temporary and like they don't last forever. And I swear, like, I don't even know how this happened because I remember watching Boys Planet way before my trip to see NCT Dream in April and me and my friend were just watching videos <laughs> and like laughing at the audition videos and watching some of their performances. But I never truly, truly, truly was interested and especially because they also had their debut on the same day as EXO's Cream Soda release, I was like very distracted. <laughs> what I mean very distracted, I mean like Girlie's Girlie's mind was only focused on EXO. What on earth? And so I focused on EXO, of course, but then I saw like their interactions of EXO and for some reason they just kept popping up on my TikTok feed and I was like, maybe I should check them out. Boom, slam, like body check me to the ground. At this point, I'm just, I'm here. I'm here and I'm invested and there's no going back. So <laughs> today we are gonna be opening, or I'm gonna be opening, Zero Basis One, first album, Youth in the Shade, I believe is what it's called. We're gonna be opening up Zero Basis. Like, you don't even understand how excited I am because of how, how much commitment I've put towards this group already. It's literally, I've literally just been watching their content for the last two weeks, looking back at their performances, watching all their showcases, uh, watching their variety shows. And I'm just hoping they give such like second gen vibes and I see it. I can definitely see it. I don't know, the vibe in that group is just immaculate, <laughs> period. So we are gonna be opening up both versions of their first, I believe this is a mini album. Yes, first mini album. And we're just gonna have a fun time because I'm excited. I'm just from what I have seen online is that I believe either one or both of these are heat activated. Now this one's like quite faded, so I don't think it's heat activated, like the photo, but this one's like gone. So I think this one must be the one that's heat activated. I was talking to my friends about this and they were like, put it over a stove. My electric stove is not gonna <laughs> help the situation at all. I think I will be standing there for a couple minutes. So. I have requested, stolen, permanently borrowed, not permanently borrowed, I'm gonna return it back to her, my friend's blow dryer because I don't own one. <laughs> Why don't I own one? Because my hair is straight and literally will dry within 30 minutes. So I will use this blow dryer to, I guess, activate the photo. How does this work? Oh, my dumb ass doesn't realize that there's a plastic cover. <laughs> there she is. Here it is. How do I? Why are there two buttons? Like, oh my god, it's showing up! <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Not me getting literally excited over like the simple things in life. Look at them. They're there. How do I turn this off? Isn't that? They're so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. Let's start with this one because I already activated the front photo. It comes in a little slit with with that youth in the shade. Interesting. I love how when you read the actual album cover though, I don't know if it's for every place, but on Apple Music, it's like you in the in the had. Well, there it is. It's fading back little by little. The way that it comes packaged like that. How smart, how, this is so convenient. Instead of having things fall out, a poster. They're so freaking adorable, like y'all don't understand. Like I'm so obsessed with this group. Oh, they're so cute. Even, the, even their freaking 
second little slogan is be the one which is very similar to exos we are one <laughs> i'm gonna get too obsessed with them and it's gonna be actual trouble for me in this little plastic piece you have the photo card honestly crime that there's only a single photo card in here because i was checking out their inclusions and it only goes with one for what reason wake one nah not it this is <gasps> okay i love his smile his smile like makes my day Tere. Tere? Is that how you pronounce his name? I hope so, because like, I'm not trying to be out here but betraying some names. He's so freaking cute. I, I love his smile. He's so freaking adorable. His voice, his deep fucking voice makes me, I will follow the share. Like, that's how, that's how lovely his voice is. There's the boy. I don't know what this is, but someone drew a flower or a blue rose. <gasps> cute. And I think this is Yuvin, Yuvin? very very nice you also have the cd interesting i don't know what's going on here period what is this <gasps> we got stickers sorry i'm not gonna take them out because i have to rip off that sticker and girlie's not not doing that but they, they, they give you stickers stickers are just amazing who doesn't love a good sticker period and they all have their names listed there <gasps> no no oh. Matthew? The thing is, Matthew's a year younger than I am. So hearing him say like, you're Canada Opa, and I'm like, mm, sir, no, <laughs> sir, absolutely not. No, get me out of here. It's so funny, but he's so freaking, he's so adorable. He's so freaking cute and he's with a dog. And this is a little stand that you get to stand up. How cute is this? How cute is he? He also apparently went to Western University, which I'm like, this man has been in the same province as I have in the past, I believe like year or two. And like, that just is crazy to me for some reason. I'm like, there's no way. This man has been walking around London, Ontario. <laughs> how, 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 how? The world is a small, small place. There's a cover that's now completely faded away. Y'all might hate me for this, but I don't have a bias. Like I literally cannot pick for my life. I don't know they're just all freaking adorable and it's so weird how different my perspective on this group is compared to like in hyphen with an hyphen i'm like i can't stand half of them because they're all like minors but like i forget that i believe all of them except for nikki are no longer minors they're just no longer minors except for nikki and so like my mentality over that has to like switch and be flipped but they're like in my mind they're so young but when i look at this group like i don't think they're that young, even though they're like, like Eugen is like born in 2007. Nar. <laughs> Goodbye. He also reminds me a lot of Jisung, like Jisung from NCT Dream. Like he gives me the exact same vibes, but like genuinely cannot pick a bias. Like don't ask me to pick a bias because I will struggle and probably have a stroke over trying to pick a bias. Okay, let's start because I'm, I've am i been talking way too much. We have our lovely leader, Hanbin. I can't. This man is my age. Nor how. <laughs> He's also just like such a talented dancer. The way he, a man who can like tut, period. <laughs> You're just so talented. I want to see him and Changa do like any choreography together. Because I think that would just be. We have Jiwoong. Jiwoong? But how is this man born in 1998? Goodbye. Oh, and we have how. Not how. How? I am literally like the biggest sim for this man. <laughs> like truly the biggest sim for him. I don't know. The vibes? Just immaculate. Or P1? Immaculate. You have Matthew? Our Canadian man? The way that the, all the Canadian guys have been like hanging out, especially at that one, I don't know if like a music show, but there was Kiho, there were two members of the boys. And then there's Mark Lee and Matthew. And I was like, this is too much Canada. <laughs> too much, too much Canada. Matthew, um, Tere. I don't know why, but he reminds me of someone. I don't know if it's like Jungwoo that he's reminding me of. Just because of like the smile. But like he definitely reminds me of someone. We have Ricky. <laughs> Ricky, bruh. Like Ricky, oh, I don't know why, but Ricky gives the best vibes. Man, it's just, he's so talented, but he's also so handsome. And of course you see his neck tattoo side eye we have given what a wild card this man is <laughs> so, so attractive. 
he's also like just like the kind like the kind of soul like i heard a story about a fan gifting him a necklace and she didn't know if he received it and he like carries it around in his pocket David, I met you, I started Where do we find men like that? Where? We have Gunwoo? I, I think that's how you pronounce it. Bruh, the pronunciation ain't there. Like, I really need to start learning Korean or at least basic Korean so I can pronounce half of their names right. He's just, he's also like the sweetest man. I love him the most. And then we have Yujin, who gives like, gives us straight Jisoo vibes. But he's also so damn talented. Like, too talented for his own good. We have the lyrics, which are on this like transparent, translucent sheet, which I think is like real nice. Real nice. I wouldn't say innovative, but nice. <laughs> they are so freaking attractive. The vibes are too good with this group. In Bloom. In Bloom is so. What a good song that is. It's such a vibe. It definitely gives off Mnet debut songs <laughs> because it. Radiates the same energy as Energetic from 101. 101. I'm Matthew. Bruh. New Kids on the Block. I also love the song. It's a, it's a very, very good song. They're so freaking cute. I love all their smiles. Their smiles just make my day. And I am confused. How cute are they? The best vibes. The best vibes. Our season. Also a very good song. Where's always? I'm waiting for always to pop up. There it is. There's always. Oh. Oh. Not the heat being activated. How interesting. But now like I don't want to touch it. Even though it's like heat activated, you're supposed to touch it. it feels kind of like weird to like be like smudging my hand <laughs> against this. Because you can always see my handprint sitting on there. But that's the first album. I don't know what's the difference between that album and this album. But I guess we will see. This one is white. This one gives me like flower boy vibe. <laughs> oh, it's a little slip. I was like, this is weird. Er, come on. There we go. There, there's the photo. Wake one. Okay. Y'all didn't do too bad with your album designs. Okay, here's the poster. It isn't as glossy. This one's more papery than glossy, like the, unlike the other one. The other one was glossy. This one's paper. <laughs> okay, tell me this doesn't give like flower boy vibes. <laughs> Period. The white shirt with ruffles and the light blue jeans. We have another package. And this one we have. <gasps> Did I get it? <laughs> He's so freaking attractive. He's so attractive. I literally saw the back and I was like, I don't I still don't know whose signature that is, even though I saw the back. Of this one. Literally identical and I still didn't even realize it was him. <laughs> He's so pretty. He's so cute. He's so cute. No. <laughs> oh, someone who's real artsy designed this one. Hanbin. Oh my god. I was gonna say Eugen and then I re-looked and I was like, oh that's Hanbin. He's so freaking handsome. For like Sir. Oh my god, I can't put it back in. Am I okay? <laughs> we have the CD. Which is, oh, designed like a full flower. Not designed, literally it's just a photograph of flower. But actually I don't mind that. Maybe it's a replacement CD for my CDs up there. But will I probably remember? No. <laughs> we have more stickers. Very, very nice. We love a good sticker set. Then <gasps> we have Jiwong, Jiwong, Jiwong. Also so attractive. Not this man literally acting in BL, BL dramas. Side, not, not, not side eye, period. Do your thinking. <laughs> the way that this group ranges like literally nine years, 19, 1998 to 2007, crazy. I say that's crazy and then I look at NCT and I forget. I literally forget. 1994 to 2002. And probably now even further because they have new members for the Japanese unit. We're gonna move on to the actual photo book. Okay, wake one for all the shit that we give you for your management in general. These albums are actually mad good quality. Like, the 
just so pretty. <laughs> Nor, I told y'all, flower boy vibes. Truly flower boy vibes. They're pretty, they're like so pretty. <laughs> and then he's gorgeous. Our beautiful Lear, beautiful, stunning. I can't like, I can't get over how well this album is like done. He's so handsome. I understand what Howe means now when he's like, my heart flutters <laughs> when I see his face. Damn, he's so talented. He's so cute. The way that people are like, I'm gonna eat this man. I understand. I understand why you would say that. I would eat him too. Cannibalistic vibes. <laughs> Sorry. Like, how could you not love a good Canadian man? <laughs> As a Canadian. I just can't get over this. How how like gorgeous this album is. It's just a stunning, 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 stunning album. We have some stunning, 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 stunning men. What? I Their production team or creative team or whoever did a damn good job. I love these group shots too. There's Ricky. I love these group shots as well. They put like three random members together. <gasps> Ricky. Bruh, Ricky with blonde hair. When are we going to see this man with black hair? Cuban. Oh my gosh. He's like... He you is such a little shithead, but I love it. He's such like a kind soul. But then you <laughs> you see him interacting with his members, and you're like, oh my god, he's like he's like a hellhole. Oh sorry. Nar. Ah. Uh, then whoop. We'll... Sorry, this man, he's so talented. Too talented for his own good. How soft does he look here? <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I'm too whipped for my own good. Mom, dad, and child. Mom, dad, and child vibes. I am so whipped for this group. Like, it's it's horrible. If you see me mass buy albums for them in the future, do not be surprised. They're, uh, they're, they're talented. They're good looking. They're funny. They have the best interactions. They're chaotic. Who doesn't love a mixture of all that? And they're just, even though Wake One, is a shitty company from what I hear and they treat their employees very very poorly from what I hear as well they oh they did such a good job with this album like I'm surprised look at that group photo oh my god they did that not week one zero base one zero base one did that they slayed they destroyed these are so fierce oh my god I'm in shock I'm in shock but in the best way possible so that will be everything. I know it was a very short unboxing, but like on a whim, I literally had to get these because I've been obsessed with them. Like for two hours of my night, I just sit and watch TikToks of them. This is how this is how you know it's bad. Like I'm not a TikTok person. I'm a YouTube person. I like to sit and watch things for a long period of time. But now I just scroll on TikTok for like two hours, like watching their content. So bad. They, they have me on a leash. They have me on a really bad leash. And I'm just gonna be destroyed when they disband. I hope y'all get into them too, because they deserve it. Like, they truly deserve it. But, like, pain. I know pain and suffering is coming. I know it's coming. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all in my next video, whatever that next video is. I think it'll be Kyungsu. So I'll see you all, whatever that next video is. Bye.